So, hello guys, and welcome to a very empty Frankfurt airport. Today I am flying back to the United States on United Airlines on a 777 uh, to Washington, Dallas, and then later on uh, on an A320, I believe, to Houston. Uh, so like many other Americans overseas, I'm making my way back home. Uh, and uh, due to the coronavirus outbreak, uh, Frankfurt Airport has not been immune. And the airport is really, really empty. Um, so I fly to this airport many times and all different types of times of day. And uh, it's never been this empty before. So there was no line at check-in, no line at customs, um, no line at security. Um, when you fly into Frankfurt Airport from outside the EU, you go through customs, and when you fly out, you go through customs as well. So um, there was no line there at customs, and uh, the airport generally is just uh, really slow. So even all the duty free areas were closed. Um, the shops outside the duty free are all open, as well as all the restaurants and bakeries and stuff. Um, but um, you can just tell that the airport is really slow. So I'm hoping that um, I'll be able to. Get an upgrade today. I'm flying um, right now on Economy Plus, and I've already actually done a complete written review of Economy Plus on my blog, um, usdetravel.com, um, of United's Economy Plus International um, service. And um, the Economy Plus basically just gives you a bit of extra leg room, but it doesn't give you any other benefits like um, expedited boarding or um, better food or free alcohol or any of that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm hoping to get an upgrade to Premium Plus, which is sort of the premium economy of United, um, or even to Polaris, but I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> but um, I'll let you guys know how it is. And um, I have not flown to Washington, Dallas in a long time. I've never been to Dallas Airport um, for at least 10 years. So um, it'll be interesting to go there. I have a two hour layover in Dallas to get through customs, get my bag, and then connect to my domestic flight to Houston. So um, come along and uh, let's. Let's fight a wash. Attention, please get to this and full arcane. This request to contact the information. Get to this and full arcane, please. So, just two quick notes. Um, first of all, I just got a notification from United that I actually have been upgraded to Premium Plus, so which is their sort of premium economy product that I've never tried before. So, that'll be interesting to see. Um, how that is and how it compares to economy plus and regular economy. Um, I know it comes with significantly wider and plushier seats um, and I believe free alcohol and maybe free food but I'm not sure so um, I want to see how that is and I'm excited to try that product out and also for anybody who travels to America from Frankfurt Airport and is flying on a Star Alliance carrier um, like Lufthansa or United all the flights come out of a special concourse in Terminal 1, Concourse Z, and there is no uh, lounge here for um, Priority Pass uh, members to use. So just something to keep in mind if you're flying here and have Priority Pass um, and you think, well, it's fine if I you know, have to kill a couple hours, there's a lounge, there's actually no lounge here for Priority Pass. All the lounges here are only for um, like first class, business class passengers or loops under Senator. Uh, members, which is I think their version of like 1k for United. So um, if you're a non-business class or first class passenger here at Frankfurt and you're flying Star Alliance to the US, just know that there's no um, lounge access, at least for priority pass. So I have about another hour until my flight begins to board um, and uh, I'm excited to try out this uh, premium plus product from United. Hopefully it's better than their economy plus product, which is pretty mediocre at best. Hey guys, so just dropping in here while I'm editing the video and I want to add one point to Priority Pass that I didn't add in my last video. And that was that you can actually get Priority Pass if you have a certain level of credit card. So I know there's a credit card you can get from Chase um, that actually gives you Priority Pass Prestige, the highest level, for free, for no extra charge. So keep that in mind when you're searching for your next credit card. If you travel a lot, see if they offer Priority Pass as one of the amenities to getting the card. Just a little tip. So here we are now on the 777-300 on the way to Dallas, and here is the Premium Plus cabin on United Airlines. With their new purple seats, you can see that the Premium Plus is sort of like a premium economy product you might find 
on some European airlines. And so now a full seat tour of the premium class seat on United. Here is the screen in front of you. It is much larger than the screen you'd find in economy class, and I found it to be very responsive. United offers a lot of movies that are still in theaters as well as international movies. Here is the spot for literature, like your safety card and your magazine. Here then is the seat back pocket, which offered a lot of space for books, or chargers, whatever you wanted for the flight. Then there is a footrest, and the biggest surprise of all in this flight, the noise-canceling headphones. I did not expect to get these on what's essentially a premium economy service, and they really did help a lot. And with helping me sleep, they really did cancel out the noise. Also, to help with sleeping, you have these much better quality pillow and blanket from Saks Fifth Avenue. The blanket is a lot thicker, the pillow is a lot plushier, and it really helped you to fall asleep quickly. Then to your right, we then have the remote control, which you can use to control the TV in front of you in case you have the seat reclined. The seat on Premium Plus is not a live flat seat like what you would find in first class, but it does offer a nice seat pitch, a nice recline, and is really good enough for you to sleep with. Then uh, to the right of the remote control, we have this little area here, which is where the chargers are and the USB, and this is the area where you control the pitch of your seat and also we have the amenity kit which I also was not expecting to get such a nice one on this plane so let's look what this has to offer with some hand cream as well as an eye blindfold and earplugs to help you sleep which I definitely used on the flight then we also have these pair of socks which are rather comfortable as well as this dental kit which includes toothbrush and toothpaste and finally a little thing of lip balm to help your lips not get chapped while in the air and it's really quite a difference over even an economy plus you have plenty of room to stretch your legs out and this was with the seat not even reclined so it's really comfortable to sleep with too so the tray table for your seat is actually to the left of you and you pull up this little lever and up pops up the tray table which i thought was pretty cool uh, the tray table has two sizes here it is in its half size and this you can pull up to lay your smartphone on so you can watch a movie or a TV show while you're eating, um, which I thought was a really nice feature from United, considering that they have personal device entertainment on the planes. And here's a tray table in the full size, so even the half size, uh, it's very comfortable and great to add a water to or a drink to. So about a half hour after takeoff, we received our first snacks these pesto mini breadsticks with a drink. And this began the most underwhelming part of the premium plus service for me, and that was the food. The food was the exact same as you would find in regular economy. Take this pasta and salad, for example. Yes, the portions are a bit bigger. Yes, it's served with real silverware, but we were not given a menu. We were not given any other choices than what you would find in economy, and the quality was the exact same. And for a premium economy service, you should be giving something better. You should be given at least a menu to choose what you want to do. Other airlines do that. For dessert, we also got this honey and stem ginger ice cream, the same as what you would find in basic economy. And honestly, for me, this flavor doesn't make much sense. People like vanilla and chocolate. Don't try to be fancy here, United, when you want to fancy anywhere else. So about an hour and a half before landing, we got our breakfast service, which was this fruit cup with pizza. And once again, just really an underwhelming breakfast. The pizza was more like a piece of hot bread with some melted cheese. The fruit was not ripe, it had no flavor. And again, for such a product like Premium Plus, it's supposed to be a premium product. The food was definitely not premium. <laughs> Frankfurt, um, my first time in Dallas Airport in a long time, and if you compare it to Houston, which is another United hub, the terminal here definitely needs a bit of an update. I'll try to take some video for you guys, but um, 
it's uh, definitely a little bit dated here in the domestic United terminal. Um, overall, the Premium Plus product on the United is actually pretty good. Um, I got the upgrade for free for being Premium Silver, um, so I think the usual cost for an upgrade is right around $250, and um, it's definitely a much bigger improvement from a Comic Plus. So you have much bigger seats. Um, there's a video for all this, but you have much bigger seats, um, much bigger screen. Um, your seat doesn't go all the way back. Um, it's not a life flat in any way. It just has a bit more of a recline, but it's definitely um, very comfortable. You get a nice little um, amenity kit with just the basics in it as well as noise canceling headphones, which were probably actually the best amenity of the whole product. Um, the noise canceling headphones were definitely something that I didn't expect to get, um, but they were pretty good quality and really help you to sleep. Um, so I slept for about four hours on the flight and having those noise canceling headphones really made a difference. Um, as far as the other sides of the service, the food is pretty much the same, the options are the same. So we had a lunch and a snack. The lunch was chicken or pasta, which it usually always is not United. The pasta that I got was like a sort of uh, ravioli um, with a tomato sauce, um, with a salad, a roll, and two uh, chocolates. Um, everything is served on real plates, so not plastic, and the portions are just a bit bigger than what you would find in Economy or Economy Plus. Um, but you do still have those same options that you would get in Economy, just like I said, bigger portions. And also the chocolate is something that's kind of different. Um, <clears throat> There's also free alcohol on Premium Plus, um, so you get free spirits, free beer, free wine, um, and of course free soft drinks, um, which is also nice, and you get a free extra check bag, so instead of one free check bag, you get two um, with the Premium Plus service. Um, then for our snack, we, instead of getting the typical sort of prepackaged ham and cheese panini, um, we actually got a... Um, pizza, uh, like a margarita to a pizza with a pesto, um, and which is pretty good uh, as well um, as a little fruit salad, um, which is sort of the basic fruit. So the fruit salad was the same as you would find in Economy, where the pizza is something that's only in Premium Plus and maybe in Polaris as well. Um, again, it tasted okay. Typical airline food quality, just the portions were a bit bigger than normal. Um, but overall, it's actually a pretty good service, especially um, for international. The Premium Plus I was reading online about, the Premium Plus is basically the same as domestic United First. So it's a pretty good product. Um, definitely makes your trip more comfortable. Um, although it's definitely one step below the Polaris, more typical business class product. But if you're looking for a little bit of an upgrade on a United International flight, then I would highly recommend the Premium Plus. Um, it's um, definitely something that it does pretty well. Their Economy Plus product is usually pretty mediocre at best. It's just offers a bit of extra leg room and that's it. But this is definitely a big step up. So um, I have to applaud the United. The crew was fine as always. The um, United's crew and never really anything breathtaking as well as, as, as at least what I've seen. But they're, um, you know, they're, they're okay. They were pretty attentive and pretty quick on serving and cleaning everything up. And it was a comfortable flight. Uh, very smooth. We actually arrived a few minutes early to Dallas. So now I'm waiting for my connecting flight to Houston um, on a United 737-800. Um, I'll be in a Comedy Plus on that. And then I'll finally be back home. So with the coronavirus um, spreading around the world, there was increased testing. So when you landed, um, those who connecting flights got off first. Um, you went to a little area, they asked you some questions, you had to fill out a form, and they asked you if you had any symptoms of the virus, and then if you said no, then you were allowed to pass through. Um, then everything else from there was pretty normal. You went through customs. Um, the customs line was relatively short, which I was surprised about. It took me maybe 10 minutes to get through customs. And then you recheck your bag, which is also a pretty quick process. Um, and then you arrive right here at the sea gates, which is their domestic terminal. So, um, yeah, overall, really nice flight over on Premium Plus, and now let's see what Economy Plus domestic has in store for us. So now a full seat tour of the Economy Plus seat on the Boeing 737-800. There is a screen for you to watch movies or direct TV, the tray table, as well as the best amenity in Economy Plus, and the reason why you paid the upgrade, the increased leg room that makes the seat really comfortable. There's also the seat back pocket and a power outlet between the seats, but it's just kind of hard to film that. A large window, and then to your left you have the remote control to control the TV. The TV offers live direct TV channels as well as non pre-selected movies to help you get through your flight.
flight there was only a snack service and I chose these little Oreo fins. You were allowed to take basically as many snacks as you wanted since the flight was so empty, but I just chose to take one for the time being and already had my drink in hand. So as we begin our descent into the sprawling Houston Metroplex area, I just want to give a few thoughts on this flight and my day flying in general. This flight from Dulles was really a well done flight by United. It was quick and the crew was just amazing. Um, they could not have been nicer. They were so affable and they offered us as many drinks and snacks as we wanted because we they all knew that we were all kind of in the same situation. We all just wanted to get home. And it was really a much different experience flying today than it was when I did my earlier flights. I mean, I fly out of Frankfurt a lot, I would say probably 15 or 20 times a year, and I'd never seen it that empty before. Um, Washington Dulles was actually pretty crowded, but I feel like a lot of those people were doing connections and domestic travel in the United States really was not at a terrible point yet, but you could just tell that everybody was sort of on edge and there was sort of a general malaise for everybody who was flying but big kudos to the united uh, crew on this flight to houston they were really super nice and i just hope that one day soon we'll be able to get back in the skies and travel as we once did so thank you very much for watching this video and please like and subscribe if you like the content um, i'm i publish videos once a week and please hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you'll get notified when i post the video um, if you've ever flown united premium plus uh, or economy plus and want to tell me your experience i would love to hear it in the comments below and also follow me on instagram and on facebook so thanks a lot for watching and happy travels Thank <music> you.